traditional advertising is about making average stuff for average people and shouting about it enough that the masses in the middle decide they need it. That the late Jay Levinson, who was a friend of mine, we wrote many books together, uh, was one of, he was shame, ashamed to note that he was one of the inventors of the Marlboro Man. And he was in a cab one day. And um, if you're under 50, you won't get the punchline of the story, but I'll explain it. He was in a cab one day and the, uh, the cab driver said, what are you doing? Jay says, I make advertising. And the cab driver says, oh, so you're in the ad game, huh? And Jay says, I guess. He says, well, advertising might work on some people, but it doesn't work on me. And Jay said, really, what kind of toothpaste do you use? And the cab driver said, well, I use Gleam, but that's only because I can't brush after every meal, which was Gleam's slogan, right? So the point is, all toothpaste was the same in 1980, but he bought this because of the ads. I don't like advertising. I'm not good at advertising. I don't write about advertising. I think advertising is from the 60s. Marketing is not that. Marketing is what you make, how you make it, the story you tell. The Catholic Church does marketing. Your local nonprofit does marketing. If you want to get people to take their tuberculosis medicine, you need to do marketing. That, that you know, the, the, the global climate challenge is not a technology challenge, nor is it a science challenge. It is a marketing challenge. We have done a bad job helping people understand their choices. 